everyone welcome to another live stream i am source cute and today we're going to continue working on our game dev entry for the game dev tv game jam uh let me check what we're working on today um this is my design document Which I created with the help of my um, lovely AI assistant, Rosie. And I kind of tweaked it a little bit. Today I want to work on the day and night cycle. And the day and night cycle is what's going to be um, triggering the growth of our crops. Um, I also want to work a little bit on the holding of stuff in your right hand. So there is a menu in your left hand, but if you select a seat, I want to be it's shown in your left hand. So we need to add some UI thing to our right hand. Also, we might need to um, see if we can add the hoe, rake, or a watering can. Now, I just realized, I don't think we even have a sprite of a watering can. No, we don't. Well, there is one in the candy pack, so we can just... Um, Use the watering can from here. If there's time left at the end of the um, game jam, I might just redo everything. But And if there's time left after the game jam, I might just buy a whole bunch of assets and use them. Um, but one of the rules says you cannot buy assets for this game jam. So we can't. Um, I didn't do anything in between streams from the yesterday stream, so let's just get into it. I can maybe maybe I should show the game first. Let's here it is. I still haven't set up the um, actual screen sharing of the um, the actual screen screen share of the VR, but I think if I just go in here. Um, hmm. Could we that the whole thing just broke down? We should be able to connect to the game from Unity and then... Until now, I'm just testing it through the link cable, but... For some reason, my whole headset is not doing anything um can I stop this yeah. oh I think it stopping it just made it come alive so you should be able to see my hands now let me check yeah so this is my hands you basically see the exact same thing as I see so right now we have four different crops we have a balance to start with and we can select the different seeds and we can pick them, we can also place them, but as you can see, well here there's weird stuff with the controller and a ray that is shown, there's a controller here. There is a shovel and a rake standing there. I want to add a watering, watering, watering can. The hoe is not visible. We're making money. We can select it and we can place here. Now... Also, the whole environment is pretty empty. I'm not sure what they should do with it. If we should add pixel art clouds, that would be fun. If we just cre create some clouds that just pass by from left to right. If you look in that direction, you probably stand in this direction anyway, or we can also stand in this direction. 
the rook as well. So we can just stand in between. Harvest. We need to make something that's highlighting the harvest as well. But that's for later. We want to have an icon for the day-night cycle. And have the sun go down. So, yeah. Let's get into it. First of all, show the selected seat in the right hand. So for the left hand, I cloned the controller. Uh, made a new prefab, add a menu to that. And I think we can do something similar for the right controller. So we have the left hand. There is a controller prefab somewhere. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. So we can do something similar for the right controller. Now, right now, there is a right controller prefab right here. And I think we can just copy it to our prefabs. And we just do the same thing, right? Controller. Then we go in the right hand and we drop our right controller in the right location. Now we have a custom controller set up. Now the custom controller is looking um, like this. For the left controller, I just removed everything. I'm still not sure exactly how we're going to do this, but... Um, and I still wonder what the easiest way would be... For the game jam, and it's a kind of bit of a dirty, dirty, dirty way. <laughs> Let's start by deleting everything. Um... So we're going to display the selected items. Now we're going to start with the selected seat. So let's just create a... Can we just do this? No, that's not that's not the best. Let's just select the seat. Uh, my music is a little bit loud for me. Let me tune it down a little bit. I hope it in the stream it is okay. It's not too. I like having a little bit of music in the background so there are no silences. I tend to sometimes just stop talking for a second just to think. And if there's no music playing, it might seem the streamer is, is stopped or something. So we have um, a seat here. So let's add that. Now this is probably way too big, but we have to figure that out when while running it. Now I think we did minus 60 degrees on the other controller. Let's do that as well. Uh, select it seat now i think we we're going to create a controller script for the selection and i 
that is just going to select whatever is selected. Show whatever is selected. So for example, the seat. Now let's test first the size and scale so we have kind of an idea of what's happening. Let's just run it and see the right controller and how it looks. So yeah, um, we can definitely see what we selected, but we cannot see anything else anymore. So this might not be the best way. Um, if we look at the other one, I think the size of those seats is <laughs> um, good enough. The angle, however, is perfect. You can just... Maybe... Maybe not. If you if you want to select it... Maybe it just should be straight. Just give me one sec.
No, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, that's the issue with streaming from home late at night. I hear my music. Oh, the game is still running. Two musics. Well, we, we edited in post. So I'm in the attic. I needed to run down. And I still haven't set up my OBS again. So I used to stream on Twitch. And I had a whole thing set up with a camera and I've got pretty much a whole studio here. But I still haven't set it up. Um just because I'm in a temporary situation right now. Anyway. Oh yeah, the controller. Oh. Let's go quickly fix it with the right controller. We need to scale it down quite a bit. So let's see the, what the, what's the scale of the left controller. A centimeter. So it is, uh, I think that's too much. I don't think this needs to be scaled by a hundred. If it, a tenth might be might be okay already. Also, I'm going to remove those little. Oh wait, is that a poke into? Is that that? Pokey thing. Poke cylinder. The drumsticks. Ah, those are the poke interactors. Are we going to poke anything? I don't think we're going to poke anything. Can we just do this? Would that be... No, one... This. Can we just disable the poke interactors? Uh, the teleport indicators I want. Direct indicators. Is this is this a thing? No, it's the poke indicators that are shown. And we have the ray interactors. Those are the lines. That is in 10. Is it similar? If we set the length of the ray indicators to 1. Let's check. Uh, where's my headset? Do we have a ray indicator? A length thing of one now. Yeah, this is better. So now we have the selected seat. It's small, but we can have it. There is only a small ray. And I think we need to... Yeah. I cannot harvest even right now. So maybe a meter is too small. I cannot harvest that one. So I think a meter is too small, but also I don't really like, oh, it's getting blue as well. I don't really like the way, what's that? Media sync complete it says, you don't see my screen. I need to set it up. Uh. I just wonder if you if you would like to see more of the streams. Let me know down in the comments. I don't think anyone is wa even watching the streams. Probably going back next week after the um, jam is over. Back to my WebXR games, and I hope I can get back into streaming. I like I like the stream. I just coding and talking. Somehow it works. Um, but the max... What is, what is it? Line type. Projectile curve straight line. Okay, cool. But it's not... Let's do two meters. I think two meters for the ray interactors is fine. Um, which also means we don't need the direct... Although we might... Ab Nah. We just lose to use the ray interactors. Now, is this showing the line here? So, this is the color. Valid color, invalid color, blocking. 
line with reticle. We could do a reticle at some point. I wonder what this does. Texture, alignment, view, color. It should be some pixel thing eventually, but... I already forgot what we were working on. Show the selected seat in the right hand. The selected seat. Okay, let's just let's just totally focus on that now. Right, see, I should write it on screen somehow. We're we're focusing on the right controller and showing the seat. So we have a right controller. We're showing a seat, but it's not the right seat. Um. Now what we have is the selected items. We need a script. A script for showing the selected thing. The sh show selected controller. I don't know. I just call my controller things controllers. And let's drop it on the selected item. Now there will be a difference between various things we can show. So the selected seat. And I think we're going to set... Set it to zero in the to null. I don't even open, have open Visual Studio yet. Show selected controller. We're going to add a property that is just selected seat. And then we set that to the selected seat. And if it's null, we hide it. So we don't need to update. Because what we're going to do. Um, let's do a similar thing as we do here. Now this is setting something in the state. By the way, if you want to have a detailed tutorial or something on how this state thing works let me know let me know down in the comments or in the chat and i will um if there's interest in a tutorial of of, of this this state thing um it's not this this one game state it's a private Uh, game state, game state. We set the game state. And we're also going to just do the. No. Give me IntelliSense, damn it. Let's just switch to normal IntelliSense. I think. Yeah. If we click it. Open Copilot, sign out. Copilot is disabled for now. Sometimes Copilot can get in the way. I feel, feel it is right now. Now we have the normal IntelliSense again. And this is better. We want to have the select plant. We want to um, subscribe. And we do on selected plant change. Now we need to keep uh, track of the disposing of this thing. And that's you do with the add this. Now it's important that whenever you do something with uh, UniRx and you are subscribing, always add the dispose thing in the behaviors. Otherwise you might get memory leaks and weird null rev exceptions and all kinds of crazy stuff. Selected plant is a game object, okay? Game object selected plant. Also, we need to have a thing connection to the plant 
seed tile thing. Um, so we do a private game object doesn't really matter. No, 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 no. It's a sprite renderer, I think. Yeah. Selected seed. And let's make this, this a serialized field. Now, something I personally um, always try to do in my code is keeping things as private as possible. Don't show anything else to... Um, it's actually a tip for life. <laughs> Don't show anything private to anything that... To, to, to anyone that doesn't need to know. So... In this, this way, because of the serialized fields, you have a private property that is shown in Unity. Let me go back to Unity. If Unity will work. Yo, Unity. Here we go. We go here. We have a selected seed here. And we don't have a sprite renderer. We can drop this one in. And now we have the sprite renderer. And why did I do the sprite renderer? I just need to change the sprite to the right one. And that's then it's, it's fine. Now I also need to change the material to my own sprite material. Um, and then I know for sure. If I just use my own sprite render, it's pretty much the same than a default. But say, for some reason, I'm going to change something in a sprite renderer. I don't want to go to every single sprite in my game to change it. That's why I just like to use my own materials, not the defaults. Just to have the option in the future to fix things when things are wrong. Um, but yeah, we have the private one. Private fields visible. And if we need to open this up, we can create a public property with only a getter and just return this and then it's not settable from the outside and if we need to make it settable we make it settable and that way we are always explicit in what we do in the code and why we do that just to prevent a mess basically and one thing that i've learned from coding in unity actually coding in general Things will become a mess eventually anyway. But Unity, especially in the tutorials and stuff, they're always making a mess. They're just throwing things together. They're... It's really a script. They, they call it a, a mono behavior or a C-sharp script. And they approach things really like scripts. And just make a spaghetti mess. Now we have this one. So we can say if selected plant is null, we say no, that's too much. Selected seed dot game object dot visibility dot set active is false. Else, we do have a selected plant. Now, we still don't know if it's a plant, but uh, we do get component plant. Do I dare assuming that this will be a plant? I think I think I just going to do that. It's a game jam. <laughs> we we can cut corners, cut corners in a jam. Selected seed. No. Selected seed. Dot. Uh, sprite equals plant. Dot. Um, and here we can see we don't have access to that sprite. So let's go to our plant. Oh, that's the wrong button. Go away. Go away. 
I wanted to hit F12 to navigate. It's F12, what? Right? Where's my? F oh, I'm not hitting. I'm not even hitting F12. There we go. My cable is stuck. One second. Ugh. I got a very nice headset, but it has a long cable and <laughs> it got stuck below the wheel of my chair and I couldn't move anymore. Um, so here you can see we have the profit and the price. We opened that publicly. I want to do the same with the seed. So we do public sprite seed. This I made a little boo-boo. When I first created the seeds. And I know there is a special um, attribute where you're going to rename things. And it's a but I forgot I forgot the name of it. I needed it the last stream and I needed it needed it again now. Maybe wait. Let's re enable copilot. Make sure we have the old name. Two seat available as well for this field. Oh, field. No, that's not that's not the right one. Formally serialized S. That's the one. Thank you, Copilot. <laughs> Formally serialized S. That's the one. So, the trick is formally serialized S. Now I can safely name this seed. And Unity, if Unity is done loading. If we go to our prefabs in the crops, know still that the seed is called seed because it was previously known as seed. Now I think if we, this could be tricky. If we just remove it now, Unity is reloading again. And hopefully, damn it, it doesn't. I was hoping it would update it. Now we set them again. <sighs> anyway, if I need to set it again, I don't want to do everything. I don't want to do everything. Do I need to set the harvest and the auto sprites as well? I don't think so. I don't get it. Let's do the, the ones we need for now. Damn it. I was hoping Unity would know now that... Yeah, I know. It was formally loaded. and Yeah, we, we I, I updated it for you. And now you can use a new one. But apparently not. It sucks. Anyway. I need to open the crops again. Crop. This one is the carrot. What's this? Google? Probably one of the samples. Um, tile. These tiles are very small. They just, they show the real size here. I think this is a carrot. Then we have our corn. 
Uh, tiles. That's not corn. That's carrot. That's corn. Then we have a tomato. There's no tomato. That's no tomato. Where's my tomato? That's a tomato. And then we have wheat. And wheat seed. Tiles. Wheat seed. Uh, I think that's the wheat seed. Safe. So, as you can probably tell, I screwed up the naming here. I'm not sure why it says it's never assigned. No, it's assigned from the outside. I wish I could tell Resharper to not do this, but I should have made sure it actually says that. No, it's private, so it should have a lowercase h. This one is private, so it should have a lowercase d. And I just screwed it up, and now it's biting me every time I need to do something. Public sprite seed. Property is recursive. Yeah, because now we need to make it lowercase. Oh, it's not used. No, we're going to use it right now. Now, now we can say plan.seed. We cannot set the plan.seed. It just says it has no setter. So we cannot set it. It's a read-only property. It's something we set in Unity explicitly. So we don't have to worry. We accidentally set something. Or if you work on a team and you have a, a, a junior dev that doesn't know anything about the architecture. and Or or you have someone that just want, that quickly want to fix a bug. It just it prevents spaghetti code. So now technically we should have if the selected plant is changed we should see it reflected in the other one and we're just going to set this if we're going to select the, the rake or the hoe we're going to select this we set the selected plant to null and that way it is inactive as well uh, okay, let's go back to our Unity. It should work now, I guess. So let's go into VR and test it out. I think it's so cool. I just can attach my quest with a link cable to Unity. Although my quest decided to not work anymore. Oh, there we go. So yeah, we have something selected. We select something else. You can even see just when we select it. And that's because we use the um, reactive extensions. The Unity RX thing. But it also, I'm pretty sure it still works as well. So if we go to our area here. We have carrots. So we're going to do carrots. We have a tomato. Oh, we cannot be too far away probably. Let's just rotate. I don't have enough money. I have the audio turned off. So we have five. So I can do one of those. Um, at some point, I want to... Um, add a red cross or something above anything when we don't have enough money. But I think this selection mechanism marks the first step of what we plan to do today. Cool. It's progress, right? Let's go into our git changes. And say go selected seat on right roller boom 
commit all and push. I'm missing my sound effects, actually. But I'll probably get banned on YouTube very quickly for playing copyrighted sounds. There is a little song called Push It, and I used to have a little sound effect. Every time I push something to GitHub, it would play the sound effect. But I think the content uh, identification thing on YouTube is way better than on Twitch. Probably get muted or demonetized or something very quickly. Yeah. Now what? Select Ho, Rake, or Watering Can. We don't have a Watering Can yet. Um, let's quickly grab the one from here. Add it to our tiles. Now this one is bigger than our tile set, but that doesn't really matter. I need to modify my desk slightly. Whoa. I hope that was empty. I bought a tablet a while ago, and I'm trying to use that every time I... Uh, let's go. Uh, w. Delete. Erase. Oh. Control. D. So, this is our watering can. I think it's pretty nice already. Um, let's just go in and make sure we use the colors from our palette. And then we need to add it. So, now it is right here and we can uh, use it file export tile set S still the right folder oh right that's it picking up my tablet was even more work than um, actually adding it but Ever since I got the tablet, I try to draw as much as possible with it. Every time I need to draw something, I, I pick up the t t tablet. And it works so nice. If you draw pixel art or anything, I can really advise buying a tablet. One of those Wacom things. I used to have a pretty cheap one. That's just that didn't work. Okay, we have this tile. Now this tile is not set to a um, sprite yet. Damn it, my mic is just bugging out. I hope the audio is okay on the stream. This is just, for me, it's just not working anymore. I need to get a new one. I set them to 16 units. I don't want it to wrap anything. I don't want any filtering. If you, if you have filtering, you get weird fake things this can be pretty low it's 16 by 16 this we don't need we don't need the size but i don't do any compression as well so we're 32 pixels that's the smallest no compression if you add compression you get weird artifacts as well it's weird be because yeah you should think it just why would you compress things but it just doesn't look good oh i need to apply it apply now you might see this little triangle here we can open if you if you have done it correctly it's there um if we go to the prefabs oh i do uh, so we have these and these are actually prefabs 
to break the shovel. I'm just standing here, but I placed them because they're prefabs. Um, as decorations, I think I did it. Yeah, but they're not going to be decorations anymore, the rake and the shovel. We're going to promote them to create folder. Tools! Haha. -ha. Now, I don't think we are going to use a shovel in the game yet, but... Maybe at some point you can add things. I'm going to uh, clone one of these and call this a hoe. The hoe and the handle. Now this tile L 11 is not the right one. Yeah, it's a weird hoe. But I didn't want it to be the same as um, a Minecraft one and I want it to be as flat as possible so if you look at the hoe from the front it is kind of looking like this this is coming towards you I needed to do something and something different if you search for a pixel art hoe on the internet you get a Minecraft hoe it's just that's a hoe and I don't want that And I experimented a little bit with it, but in a lot of occasions, it it was just looking like a oh, we're not doing on the grid. Can I move things on the grid? What's that? If you hit control, you can do it somewhat on the... Minus a half, okay. Minus a half. So this is the down. We do this. On a whole meter. And then I think we do this at six. Okay, there's our hoe. It's just standing there. We're going to add it to the menu in a second. As a button. Um, but we also need to have the watering can here. So we're going to add a create an empty watering. It's called a watering can, right? I'm starting to doubt myself now. This is a watering can. If it's not, let me know. I'll change it, but. I think it's a watering can. In the Netherlands, we call this a gieter. But if I call it a gieter, then nobody knows what it is. Um. Let's reset this so it's at zero, zero. Yeah, I think it's fine. What's this? Oh, it's old. Oh, we're not making progress enough, fast enough today. Um, So what was the task? Select hoe, rake, or watering can. Okay. Ho, rake, or watering can. Um, let's go here. Let's go into our game state. I think we go go do an enum for the select a tool and then work based on that. I think that's the easiest. And we can just, just show and hide things based on that enum. Um, let's just add it right here. Public. Enum. Tool. And we call it none. We don't have a tool. Watering can, hoe, or shovel. 
I think that's okay. Thank you, co-pilot. I don't know how it works. It's listening. Like Rosie. Rosie's always listening as well. Rosie is scary sometimes. At some point, I'm going to implement uh, Rosie in the, in the YouTube streams as well. It might be fun. Anyway, we have this whole thing set up here. And we can just do something like select it tool. Select it tool. I think I need to have to create a resharper thing for this. Select it tool. Property, no, select a tool, and then we say, well, it's not an int, because we want to have the tool. So instead of int, we change it to tool, and instead of this, we say tool dot, wait, we're missing something here, tool dot none. So tool dot none is nothing selected. And now we can have a public, let's let's just move this to an old, its own file, we don't need it here, let's Move it out of the way. Hey, okay. Close it. I don't need to see it anymore. Let me go to... Set like a tool. Tool value is tool. That is correct. But... If... Tool is none. No. Tool is... Not none. If we select set the selected tool, do anything else than none. So we select the tool, then the selected plant will become null. We don't have a plant selected, we have a tool selected. Now we can do the same thing. Set selected plant. If plant none is null. If I see it coming up, but Plan that is null. So we select the plant. Then we set select a tool to none. That way either one of them is just none. And we can just um, handle things accordingly. So we have the show selected controller. Uh, but we cannot see them yet. Let's add a select tool controller on the other le on the left controller. So is that a different select? Oh no, it's select. So let's go to prefab. Let's go to our left controller. Here on the menu, we need to select the tools. And the menu is a different thing. So we have hand menu. We have to balance. Now I think we're going to add. The three tools here. Just again as buttons. Maybe just we copy the read button. We move this down. Now this is not costing any money. But so this is going to be our hoe. Image and a text. Now we don't need a text at all, I think. Can we just delete the text? If we just delete, is it just gone? Oh, it's a prefab. Do this, the text is in here. Mm -hmm. uh. Um, What we can do is go into the image. The image has a sprite. Actually, there are two images. Is it just... Can we do this? Move this to right there. I don't know if this is. <laughs> I don't know if this is the way to do it. Um, why do I do it this way? Well, if you look at my hoe, this is the bottom, and this is the top, and the top also has a sprite like this. Now, the image, it's not that both of them are in the image at this point. That sucks a little bit. I 
And this is the let's select seat controller. So we're going to delete this one. And this one is going to be the selected two controller. But I think the button is only the bottom, bottom side. Can we change that? Can we change how the... Yeah, we can change the height to 160. No, not 30. 160. But then this is just scaled. And it feels a bit weird to scale this half and the other one in half as well. Hmm. That's weird. This is, right? That's weird, right? Is it going to work? Yeah. So now we have a button with a hoe. It's a game jam. I need to keep focus and just continue working on a game jam game but no 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 wrong one this one i mean these are two tools right we can do it again a watering cam that's the camera that just making things wet we can delete that part and then take that image I think it might be cool. <laughs> Do we have controllers and stuff here set up? Yeah, every everyone has an animation the same way as So now we we should we should have a tools in the hand menu. Let's let's check it out in VR. I like it. There's a watering can there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. There's a ray there and it's interacting with the, with the thing. So maybe we should take the whole menu and move it up slightly. So it's not interfering with the, uh, with the buttons. Yeah, UI is, well. Yeah. I think the game game jam itself runs for an, about a week. So we do have, we might have time to make things look nice. But this is local. So if we just move this up just a bit safe, then the line is probably going to be outside of it okay next up is the script so there is no script attached anymore on these we have the seat selection controller script on here it's not there anymore and we need to create a tool selection controller script so this is the seat selection it's a very simple we're going to add a tool selection controller yeah this is selecting plants uh go here scripts 
we say create C sharp script tool selection controller. And the tool selection controller is going to have a field for the tool that we select. So it's a serializable, serialized thing field. Starting intelligence, we have time. Private tool. Tool selection is fine. Serialize, serialize field. And then we do on, let's just copy the other code. Select seat. There we go. And then we say set selection. Set selected tool. This dot tool selection. And that's how our little tool selection controller works. So we just, we can set it up in Unity and we put it into the state and whatever happens in the state just goes into the state. We add the script. Now I think, but I'm not sure. We can select all three. Tool selection controller. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Probably not. Oh, no, it's a hoe. This is the rake. There's the watering can. And then we go tool selection controller. Set selection. Working. Watering. Ah, oh, it didn't do it. Now we need to fix it. Ha. Huh. Unity, please watch this screen, this stream, and fix it. Okay. Uh, we have a tool selection, so this one is going to be our hoe. This one is going to be our. Interesting. And this one is going to be our watering can. tool it's not a shovel we don't have the shovel yet so let but, but we have a model for it we don't have the tool yet i'm not sure how we're going to use it but let's it's a tool in the game it's, it's just kenny made it it's here it was the start of every tool in, in the game It's the rake. What's the rake? We say rake. Save. Now we need to go to the right controller. Uh, right, right, right. Prefabs. I want to show the select a tool here as well. And I think if we select a tool, the seat should disappear. So what? So we have to select the items. What if we just take the tools oh uh rake and watering can and just drop them in now i guess we can rotate it and set everything like um we need to show it we should move it down a bit so for now oh the watering can can be in the middle watering can there Okay, selected item has the show selected item thing. I'm going to add a couple of more fields to our ob objects. Serialize, serialize field, private game object, object 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 
Um, this is the... Oh. We have a rake. And a watering, watering can. Yay! Three of those. Then we take this, and we're not going to scrap the selected plant, but to the selected tool. Unselected tool change. And then we're going to say private. Void selected. No. Also like a tool changed. Yes, tool selection. Um Yeah, sure. Let's go pilot. It's just thinking with us. I love AI. I hear people talking about that it's not working for them, that they cannot work with it. Um, but from what I've seen, I mean, this is exactly what I need. Did it save me a lot of time? Well, maybe 30 seconds. But I mean, if every time I need to do something and it saves me 30 seconds. I think it's awesome. Um, now, also... I'm not sure if they go invisible at the start. So what I'm going to do is just set everything off at the start. Then we select. And if there is a selection going off... It's going on anyway. It's turning on. But at the start, everything is disabled, hidden. Okay. Let's test and see if we... We have to fix in one try. That will be a unique thing. So we have the thing selected. So we can select... Still select the seats. Now let's check this out. This is our O. Oh, this is the rake. And this is the watering can. Is this, is this how we want to use the tools? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think we need to do something that it, it's like we're actually using the tool and just showing it. It would be cool if this just, just, it should be rotated and it should be like we are actually holding the watering can, right? But technically, the item is done. What do we have a no ref exception? It's new? It's new. Okay, let's check it out. Aha. This dot selected plant not equals null. If the selected plant is null, can we select the plant if the select Plant is null. No, we cannot. There is nothing to be selected. I think this should be fine. It's fine. I just come going to commit it. I don't care. Edit selection selection of whole break and watering can. Commit and push it. Done. Next. Implement whole rake and watering can. Damn it. 
I think I'm going to skip this one for now. Because it's getting late and I don't think we're going to get this done today anyway. So the day night cycle might be more fun. And then we can just move things up to the next day. I mean, we have one day. <sighs> we have one day. Well, testing. Last minute polish. Complete final build of the game. Um, this is day eight. We have 10 days. So it's going to be fine. We're going to move this um, to tomorrow. X and X. We actually should just be able to do just this and then it should. But well, it could be that it even works this way, right? Let me check. Uh, day six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, see, it doesn't even matter with you if you just do this. <laughs> cool. It just keeps it in, in, in line anyway. So if you we can just do one and just name it all one, it just works. I love that. Okay. Day-night cycle. How do we do a day-night cycle? Um, I never can change that. Light. If we, if we just changed, change the light. We get it there. Um, we have a window. Is it this one? Yeah, it's the same skybox. Source skybox. Can we just... That doesn't do anything. Oh, it's a real-time shadow color. I wonder, is that Skybox, is that, is that anything? Now we have an XR origin, there should be a camera somewhere. Main camera. You know what? How can we add a day, night, Cycle to our Unity game. Can you give me a simple script? Um, how long? If you okay, I want to play the game for say five minutes. If a day-night cycle is 20 minutes, you're not even going to keep, keep, get a plant grown. So, a day-night cycle should be like 30 seconds. Where every day has a duration of 30 seconds. I want the Day and night to be equally long. So, 15 seconds. Nights should be dark. But we should be able to see something let's see what rosie is going to tell us now rosie is using um chat gpt4 32k this means she's slow at the moment very slow it takes a while for get for her to get a reaction um in the past rosie was running on gpt3 and GPT-3 is pretty fast. 
It's just the more tokens you have available, you just how the, the longer it takes to get a response. Okay, now we get a script. To create a simple day-night cycle in Unity, we use a directional light to simulate the sun and its rotation over time. To achieve this, create a C-sharp script called day-night cycle. Paste and paste the following code. Okay, here it's going to use publics. So we're going to change that to private fields, but float rotation speed. Okay. Start sun is null. If sun is null, get component. Where's sun coming from? Oh, here, light sun. It's actually getting the component light if you don't set it. So it's if you don't set it in your game, it's just going to grab it. That's nice. Rotation speed, okay. Update float angle. There we go. Night and so it's it's dark but still visible. Nice. So this is a cycle with only one light. I think it's an easy starting point. To use the script, get a directional light game object. We have that to access the sun. Make sure it's oriented so that its positive z axis points down towards the ground. A chest then I cycle script. That's line game controller. If you didn't design this light in inspector before running your game, make sure directional light is a light component. That's how it just get it. With this setup, you'll have a simple day-night cycle with 15 second day nights. The light, where is it coming? The 15 seconds coming from? Time, delta time. I don't understand where the 15 seconds is coming from. I know we have the rotation speed here. Oh, 30F. In seconds. Is there noise? Okay. Create day night cycle. Uh, Rosie, let's go. Just copy the whole thing. Now I want this to be a private. I'm going to change this. I'm going to say required. Please work with me. Require component type of light this way we know we have a light we can just remove this and then we say private light sun if i could if i could type it might help sun how many typos can you make in that sentence anyway because we say required component the script can only exist on a um, game object that also has a light component. If you place this on a game object that doesn't have a light component, it will just add the light component. So now we only have the duration, but yeah, we can make it private. And if we want, we can make this a serialized field. So. If we want to set it, we can do that in Unity. I think that's fine. Then we have to start. Now this is going to rotate completely. This is going to be a directional light. So it doesn't matter where it's pointing. Now it's pointing and lighting from the bottom up, I think. When it's night, but we'll see. Let's pick our light at day night cycle. And 
let's make this a little bit more uh what's the color yellow a bit warmer uh let's test if this works it's going to be a quick one we don't have the entire day night cycle implemented yet so is the light changing it's getting darker i think oh there goes the sun oh the sun is working and it's night that is so cool it works we don't have a moon but Sun should come up soon. It's not. Please, sun, come up. There we go. Oh, there we go, so, sun. It is so cool. We have a day-night cycle. Uh, and it's getting dark. And I love that the the the, the skybox is working. Now the ambient is it the ambient lighting? It's too bright. So I'm going to change that so the ambient lighting is just a bit darker. Can we just pause this? And... No. Um, let's see. If we just turn off this light, is that is it black then? No, it's not. So there is some ambient light going on. If we go to that lighting tab. Uh, lighting. Is there any ambient light? Environment... Um, <sighs> where's the light coming from tell me Now something, so if we just turn on the directional light, it's day, it's night, it's day, it's night, it's day, it's night. Now something that would be cool. Is adding a point light. Let's just move it over there. Now if we turn off this light, boom, this is the effect. To say we add a point light somewhere around here. Give it a... I don't think shadows do anything with the um, sprites anyway, so... We can just do no shadows. Is this visible during the day? I don't think it is visible during the day. What's the error? Oh, set active. Not being assigned. Hmm? I think... I thought we assigned it, right? Uh... Is the left menu? Oh. Oh. Ah, whatever. Run! Okay, the plants are a bit weird now because we used the, lost the ambient. It's getting dark. What's going to happen? Oh, look at that. It's dark now. Things look weird. So everything that ha doesn't have my own sprite, so like the menu and stuff, this apparently has doesn't have the, the normal sprite. But I think we can add a few of those lights. <gasps> and then it's day again. Um,
Now the thing is. Stuff is that's just not using the right material. Stuff is not using the right material. This is a sprite material. This is not a sprite material. <sighs> but would it work? This grass on the side here. I'm in the grid selection mode here. Um, so I'll start. Sprites diffuse. Shader. Sprites diffuse. That should do that. It's a normal sprite shader. Now the thing is, the ambient light is not really working. Um, can we somehow add changes to the intensity of the I box to this script. I want it to be 1.0 during the day and 0 0.25 during the night. I mean, Rosie really is my personal stack overflow or something. Uh, I mean, this worked. Sure. Material, skybox material. Add this line. It even says what we need to do. Okay, add this line. We go here. Skybox material. Render settings, okay. Fine by me. So it's render settings that it's... I, did, I didn't know that. see interesting we miss an if sun intensity Okay, so the, it's the rotate including the whole thing. 
So it's kind of split. It's this whole thing. Like so. Both the sun intensity and the skybox exposure. Safe. No way. Is it going to work? Type space, end of file. No, I just... Oh, I copied too much. It's always hard to figure out what to copy, but... It's gonna work. Oh, we need to add the material. Where's the material coming from? I have no idea. There's skybox material in here? Default skybox. Is that the one? We can use the one. Not even there. Okay. Run it. Soil is weird. But it's getting dark at night, right? That's so cool. Now, I don't get why these sprites are still dark. Now they get light, but these get dark. They're really, really affected by the, um, by the sun. So the sun gets up. Where's the sun? The sun is over there. It's lighting them from the wrong direction. Ah, damn it. I was hoping it, could, it would fix that. Day night cycle. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool though, but the moment they are changing is is off somehow. So if we look from the top here, so it's this, it's See, it's like this, but then if it's on the back, it doesn't light the front. It's difficult. See, that's the issue. It's rotating. Now only it's getting in the it's lighting it from the front. Can I fix that? Maybe we should only use the ambient lighting. Not even use this light, but only for the sky.
Does that indirect multiply do anything? No. This color doesn't do anything for the skybox. Huh. I don't know how to fix this. I hate ending streams on these points, but I don't know. Because I'm using sprites when the directional light is pointing away from them. They are in dark. Is there a way to make sure the sprites are lit always in the pendant? of the direction of the light they should be lighter during the day and darker during the night now with the, the trick with uh using gpt in asking questions is Let's say, let's say explaining it to a developer. Just be as explicit as possible. That is a trick. <laughs> to achieve this, create a custom shader. Every single second of this process I was afraid this would happen. Why is it doing this weird thing where I mean it's just like the sorting is being off. Right, I think we're going to end the stream here for today. It's it's I'm way over my time again. Um, I think there will be a stream again tomorrow. I tried to stream for a couple of hours, maybe or for an hour, hour and a half, every day, every day during this game jam. We do have a day night cycle. Sprites are not lighting up. Lighting up. Um, 
we need to we can remove this one sprites are not lighting up in exactly the right way so we might need to create a custom shader i might do that in between streams i'm thinking of adding a custom shader anyway because i want to add a couple of things like uh, the crops if you hover over a crop i want to highlight it there should be a halo around it and i can just do the brightness thing as well and if we do the brightest thing brightness thing we can make it independent of the light just have a brightness setting and then we're going to change the brightness setting of the material depending on if it's day or night or something. Um, but with that, I want to thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you know when I go and the bell icon as well. So you know when I go live again tomorrow. It's probably around 9, 9.30. But with that, thanks a lot. And I will see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.